hide these two numbers, which is very similar to the one you'd see on your test. Um, so we, if you have to divide fractions, um, or whenever we have mixed numbers, the easiest thing, I think, is always to, unless you have the same denominators, um, as far as adding and subtracting. But anyways, when multiplying and dividing, it doesn't matter if they have the same denominators or unlike denominators. Um, what we're going to want to do is convert these to mixed numbers. So to do that, you take your denominator, and you multiply it by your whole number, and then add it to your numerator. Multiply, add. So I do 8 times 1, which is 8, plus 1 is 9. So you have 9 eighths divided by 3 times 2, which is 6, plus 2 is going to be 8 over 3. Notice how I keep the denominators the same. Question? Yes, George. Now let's say one, the first one, one over one eight. If that was, if the one was even a negative, you would still add it. Yes, even if this was negative, remember just put it like in parentheses and do the same thing. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide. Well, when we're dividing fractions, we like to multiply by the reciprocal, which is going to provide the same operation. So therefore, I reciprocate my divisor. And what I get is 27 over 81. When dividing, guys, if somebody has a question, that's fine. Let's have 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8. That's where I wrote the 8 right there. When you are dividing fractions, you multiply, we can multiply by the reciprocal, OK? So, guys, I'll be more than happy just to give out the test. All right, let's just focus on these next five, 10 minutes. I only have about 10 more minutes left, then I have to give out the test anyways. Um, so now we need to divide these into each other. Um, or anyways, that's our, well, first of all, we want to see, can we simplify this? So we look at answers that we can divide. And what I would do is I always look at the smaller number and look at the factors. The factors of 27 are going to be 3. Um, 9, 27. Do any of those numbers divide into 64? No, they do not, Jamie. So therefore, this would be my simplified answer, OK? 